Everything is hard to do the first time But if I fall, it'll make me stronger I'll get up and try again I will follow my dreams forever Long as we'll be together Through the storms and bad weather You'll make me better If I believe I can do anything I can move mountains, I can move mountains If I believe I can do anything I can move mountains, I can move mountains If you're in need, no, I'll be your friend I can move mountains, I can move mountains, yeah Anything the Lord throws at us, I'll be by your side So we make it up and everything's alright
When all I ever wanted was this You're all I ever wanted was this Sleepless nights Always seem to lose these fights Building up my thoughts like bricks But nothing in my blood says quit When the lights go out And I'm all by myself in the darkness When the lights go out I hear my heart beating the hardest
so um my person for the eighth grade thing i don't know what this is called the eighth grade video is zeta um where do you start with zeta zeta's honestly one of the nicest people you, one of the best people you ever meet really it doesn't matter how she's feeling or if she knows you or not she's always has a smile on her face and always is like um always says hello how's your day you know just like on it like for everyone she sees she's like compliments something about them or ask them how they are it's just yeah she just doesn't judge anyone she just she just like she's friends not friends with everyone but like you know she's just nice to everyone she's caring and stuff and that's a great quality to have we need more people like that and honestly man but it kind of sucks because a lot of people see her as like the teacher's pet and like you know the goody two shoes even though that's not well it's kind of no it's not her she's just once you get to meet her she's really just like just like fun goofy person and just like it doesn't matter how you're feeling zeta will get you to laugh honestly and we're just we're just lucky to have zeta you know she's a great help to everyone honestly especially to the theater program uh we love you zeta <laughs> this video is for zia zia you are one of the most talented people I have literally ever met in my life. Like, I feel like, like, you're so good at everything. Like, you're good at singing. You're good at acting. You're good at drawing. It's like, you're so talented. And I really love your sense of style. And it's so, so cool and amazing. And I just really appreciate to have you as a friend. And this program would not be the same without you. Um, for my 8th grader, I got, drum roll please, Avery Miller. Avery, first of all, you are just so incredibly kind and nice to people. Like, I don't get it. And you're just, you're so selfless and helpful. Like, you're just, you're always on task and you're always there when someone needs something. And you're like, hey Avery, can I borrow your script? And you're like, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. You just, you always put 110% into what you do, whether it's working on set design or like being on stage or like being behind the scenes. You're amazing at set design and you've been able to pull off sets in the nick of time again and again over these past few years. And I applaud you for that, sister. Um, you just, you never let anyone down. And you're a great artist too, which makes sense because artists are supposed to be a little crazy and one may not think that about you at first, but I've witnessed some of your outbursts, let's say, and I feel like people should be deathly afraid of you because you could be, like, a sorcerer or something. But anyway, I'm just glad I got to meet you. Like, even though we aren't super close or anything, you're just a really chill person to be around, and you're super talented and really funny. I feel like people don't get to see a lot of that from you, but, like, you're a comical gal, dude. And, like... Not, not to mention your acting abilities and how you can basically play like any character from totally oh stupid plane how you can play any character from like normal like hey guys to completely cr bonkers crazy maniac gonna kill your whole family type of vibes and I applaud you for that as well I just I know you're gonna excel in high school and in life, to be honest, just because of your dedication and commitment and dependability and determination, and if you just keep up being that hardworking person that you are. And I just know you have great things in store for you. Peace. Julian, I appreciate you. You do so much stuff with like, the tech stuff and the building stuff. I feel like you just don't get enough credit for everything that you do. You're really quiet and like reserved, but whenever we do talk, I really enjoy like, our conversations. I could never do anything that you do with the soundboard and stuff, and I just really appreciate everything that you do for theater. Hi, so I'm going to talk about, talk about Budla, talk about Lucas Marino. <laughs> He's an amazing person. It's been so much fun to be able to work alongside him and work with him this year. He is just this energy of just, like, comedy. <laughs> He'll always do something or have some sort of joke, which is some sort of aspect of him. And it's just so much fun to be able to work alongside him. He had his mini-mouse voice that we loved. 
hang out with him outside of school is great. He's a person you can rely on. He's always there. <laughs> um, and it's, it's just been a lot of fun to know him and to work with him and to hang out with him. And he brought this layer of comedy into like our theater group that I don't think we really would have had without him. So, Lucas, you're amazing. I love you and I wish you the very best in high school. Hey guys, so today I have good news. I will be talking about a friend of mine that I've known for quite a while throughout middle school and I think they're a really, really cool person, but I don't actually know who that friend is yet, so let's see what it is and it's... Reem. <laughs> no, no, um, th that can't be right. L l let's try that again. Whoa. Okay, okay. We're actually doing this. I was not prepared for this type of stress today. Ew. Reem. Just kidding. Guys, Reem is actually a really, really cool person. And what's a better way to tell you all the things that I like about her and that other people like about her and appreciate than through an advertisement? One, two, three, go. Hello, everybody. You are not ready for the newest product coming fresh out of Ms. Barrows' theater room. It's with all new installments. It's called the Ream 2.0. Dream 2.0 is actually one of the newer models of middle school model student, which we don't use that name all willy-nilly, no. The Ream 2.0 comes with certain fashion customizables. Uh, the Ream 2.0 was styled after the straight out their store, straight onto the runway look. Yes, she is artsy, guys, very skilled, very much well-rounded in leadership, and uh, ha, surprise, she's quirky. No, she is not like the other girls. I mean, look at that scrunchy, folks. Yup. Also, Reem is a very nice person. She will laugh at all of your really, really bad jokes, even if they're like very horrible. She'll give this laugh right here. <laughs> and you'll know your joke was bad. But last but not least, guys, she was a really cute kid. You thought it was over? Ha! Psych! The Ring 2.0 has actually been an inspiration for many of the other middle schoolers coming out of the theater room, such as the Zeta 3.6 coming out in 2022. A lot of her fashion and way she dealt with the uh, younger students inspired the Zeta very, very much. But for these reasons, you should not wait to buy the new Ream 2.0. Hi Reem, it's Zeta. I just wanted to say thank you and that I really have enjoyed watching you grow over the past three years. From watching you play Carlotta in The Little Mermaid to being the lead role in a play. Like, that is bonkers, dude, and it has been really a joy to be able to speak with you and talk with you. I'm still kind of salty about your fake laughs and my jokes, but to all of you out there, I appreciate Reem because she's the only one who considers that my feelings may be hurt sometimes, you know? I am not joking when I say I don't pick up on sarcasm. But, yes, thank you so, so much, Reem. And I hope that you have a great time in high school. Bye! Hello. This song is meant for Dre. It's called Dre's Bitten Apple. Uh, just... Hey Dre, see you later. Those were the only words that I would end up saying. I'm glad I met you. I never trade you for a man in a coma. We've been friends since the middle of Corona. Now I've been down, I've been down. And ever since I met you, you turned my frown upside down. Once upon a time, I made a right. You're a friend of mine And you're shining You're shining Shining brightly Quite the actress You've got the talent 
you're a singer. I think you're magic, and that ain't tragic. No, that ain't tragic. You made an impact on my life, and autocorrect calls you my wife, girl. I. You deserve better. Go be somebody else's wife. understand how amazing you are like you absolutely do not understand it and I'm so happy that I met you when I did and and you don't understand how impactful you made my life you are just so understanding and so forgiving like I I explain to you my situations and what's going on and you always always understand and you have the patience with me and I really appreciate that like and it's so easy to talk to you like so easy i do not feel like i'm being judged when i'm talking to you another one of my favorite memories was when in seventh grade when we when we were performing something for black history month feeling i love working with you like you are just so easy to work with like we can we have proper communication and i'm just like i'm so proud to be your friend micah and you are amazing micah you are so beautiful you are talented you are just everything in between and girl you you you're literally just worth so much and I just want you to know that Micah like be you Micah okay you are amazing just the way you are all right all right girl so Micah Kirk this is what I have to say to you and Micah I'll see you when I see you bye Hey guys, so the person I got for this video is Lafayette, aka Amaria. Um, I just wanted to say how much me and this theater program have appreciated you throughout this whole 8th grade year. 6th and 7th grade, we didn't really talk that much, but ever since we lived in the same complex, we've gotten so, so, so close. And I'm really grateful for that. If I didn't talk to you this year, I would not be as confident as I was when I was acting or singing because you bring so much confidence out of people because you're just so bubbly and fun and that's like one of the biggest things I love about you for when it comes to the theater program in general you literally just are so nice to everyone and so welcoming and like no matter what you always try to see the better side of people no matter how much quote-unquote drama you've been in or like anything with them and that's what I love 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 about you 
Um, I'm really grateful to have you in my life because there was a point this year where I was really not confident in myself when it came to the theater program, and you literally boosted my confidence so much. You are so insanely talented when it comes to singing, acting, guitar, any instrument, to be honest, and yeah, you're just amazing. I love you so, 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 so much, and I can't wait to see you move on to Olympia and have a great time in that theater program. I can't wait to go all, to all of your shows and support you 100%. I love you. Mwah. This video is dedicated to Journey. Journey Mullen is an eighth grader who always seems to bring a light into a classroom. I've been in a class before with her, and she always seems to have the same funny attitude and the same humorous remarks. She loves to work for others rather than herself, being selfless instead of selfish. She seems to be a great aspect of the class in integrating her humor into most of the things she says and creating a idea of the class and make it, making it more fun for everybody who is in that class or even outside of that class looking in. What? Sorry. About 13. Yeah. He plays in charge of a trading card. And every day we'll say he's going to be his daughter. They got it away. Come on, man. He struggled to keep his daughter. And so he was hungry for something to be a part of. A brother was ready to make steel. Borrow a brother. Devastation reigned, the man saw his future dri dripping down the drain. For the fence to his temple, connected it to his brain. And he wrote his first refrain. That's a whole thing on his brain. Don't stop.